What I have here is a $350 carbon fiber composite Les Paul style guitar with some really interesting electronics. Now, how can you make a guitar like this for $350? Is it too good to be true? Well, let's find out. Yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're all doing very well today. Super interesting guitar in the studio. As I mentioned, carbon fiber composite. So here's a quick look kind of at the neck. Now, of course, this isn't uh, woven carbon fiber. Those guitars are thousands of dollars, but there are some advantages, uh, namely in the weight. Look at how that neck joint can be put on. Asymmetrical neck, which means it's rounded here for cording, very comfortable, and flattens off here for solo uh, and lead playing. So you can do all that molding uh, with this composite and of course have a massive amounts of savings. And of course, humidity changes, temperature changes, this will resist them all just like regular carbon fiber. So what exactly is this mysterious carbon fiber Les Paul? Well, this is from a company called Enya. Now this is a very unique instrument. It's got a zero fret, as you can see right there. You don't see that on guitars that often. I really do like the Enya headstock. It's very clean, classic, but it's its own thing. It's kind of like got that asymmetrical, um, you know, instead of meeting in the middle, looks really good. Very smooth heel joint, like it's nice to play up high. If you've played on many Les Pauls, <laughs> you know, getting to the upper octave, especially right up to the top frets, a bit of a challenge. Here, it's better than most electric guitars on the market. So that's uh, really nice. Got a couple humbuckers right there and there. And if we look at the back, we've got sort of a big cavity here. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why is that there? Well, because there's one thing I haven't shown you on this guitar yet, and that is right here. Now, the model name of this guitar is the Nova Go Sonic. And I do have to mention, I really do like the 12th fret inlay there. It's very clean on the front face, except for that 12th fret marker. And of course, on the sides, you get regular markers, so you know where you are. Uh, but yeah, Nova Go Sonic, you can use this guitar in at least three ways. Of course, we're gonna plug it into an amp so we can hear it. We're gonna look uh, and listen to the onboard uh, amp and speaker. And there's the jack. So yeah, you've got your regular quarter inch jack, you've got a headphone jack, and you've got USB for charging, etc. Now, other notable features include a truss rod adjuster right by the neck pickup there. I always love it when carbon fiber manufacturers put a truss rod in, even though you technically don't need it because it lets the user set the action height and the relief on the neck. So it puts the power in the hands of the player, which is really nice. And then once you have it set, uh, it's not gonna be moving, which is really great. And the fretwork on a $350 guitar, every single fret end is beautifully rounded. Love to see that on a guitar in this price tier. Feels really, really great. Um, other than that, I'll put all the specs for this guitar in the video description below. You can just uh, check out all the detailed specs there, but those are the main highlights. Let's plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. All right, first things first, let's plug the Nova Go Sonic into the Rev Generator 120, and then we're gonna test the onboard amp. Right, so let's kick things off with the magnetic pickups. I'm gonna start in the neck pickup uh, with a lead tone. That's a classic Les Paul move for sure. Let's see if we've got, uh, you know, a bit of a creamy Les Paul tone that we can get. Here we go. Next, I'm gonna switch between uh, the push-pull pot here. So I'm gonna pull it out and see if that makes a difference to our lead tone. So just to my ear, um, when you pull it out, it does kind of takes some of the treble off and gets a creamier type tone when it's, when it's out and when it's in, you get a little bit more of that brightness. Let's go to the bridge. All 
right, now let's try some clean tones. I'm on the neck pickup here. Middle position. And bridge. Now, one thing I'm curious about is if we can use um, the effects through the quarter inch jack. So say you had just a clean amp and you're like, well, I can't afford effects right now. Would this uh, guitar be able to fit the bill? Because normally when you press in like this and you can see it light up green, that means this speaker is activated and you've got your amp and you don't need an amp. You can either just play with through the speaker. I want to see if it's going to play through here, which it sounds like it is, because I can hear it. Okay, so it's a volume knob as well. So I've got my magnetic pickup volume. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so you need your main volume on, and then bring up the volume of the effect as much as you want. So yeah, the effects now, that distortion is coming straight from the guitar. That's actually a pretty good feature if you don't have an amp or you just have a clean amp. Go to the next one here. Cool. So when you activate the effects that actually comes through um, the quarter inch as well which is awesome, and the headphone jack. Um, let's switch over to the internal speaker and just see what that sounds like. All right, so let's uh, go to blue, which in this case I think is a light breakup. I love that you still have your uh, pickup positions, even though, of course, <laughs> it's completely uh, different, but you can still go bridge, neck, and get different tones. Let's try the next one, which is, oops, I held it on too long. Let's go to uh, the next one, which is, yeah, green is clean, light breakup, and then kind of that teal color, I think is our high gain. <laughs> And finally, we've got that kind of pinkish purple color, and that is our lead tone. So let's go ahead, go back to the neck pickup. Yeah, it's so fun to have that delay on there. Uh, I could see myself just sitting and noodling on that one for hours on end. So yeah, the built-in speakers, really, really cool. So you just tap and hold, now it's disengaged. Um, and if you want it, yeah, tap and hold to engage. So very, very simple, string through the body. Um, magnetic pickups sound really good. And then there's just like a little rubberized cover. So to change strings, you just pop that up and uh, put your strings through the body. <laughs> and then yeah, charge through the USB port. Uh, pretty clever stuff. So here are my final thoughts on the Enya Nova Go Sonic. Now, first things first, uh, on their website, they say every single one of these guitars will be six pounds. That's exceedingly light, especially for a Les Paul style. And because they're using carbon fiber composite, they can make good on that claim. It's not like wood where some will be very heavy, some will be light, all in the same guitar shape from the same manufacturer. Uh, so these are all six pounds. That's very, very light. 
Uh, very nice to play because of all the rounded corners. Everything has soft edges on this guitar. Uh, that's an advantage of the carbon fiber and we talked about the heel joint there. Uh, really beautiful. The fret ends, very beautiful. So this plays really easy. Now it doesn't feel like a wooden guitar, obviously. Um, no carbon fiber guitar does. Uh, but yeah, this plays really nice. That's the first thing to note. Uh, second, I use this guitar almost exclusively with the on -bill, onboard speaker. That's how convenient it is. It's just dang convenient to flop yourself on the couch, hit a button and just start jamming with some effects. It's, yeah, you sort of look at it and you're like, well, would I ever use that? And I'm using it exclusively. <laughs> it's just so convenient. And it sounds good enough to be like enjoyable. Like it doesn't sound tinny, it doesn't sound flubby, it just, sounds pretty good so you know for what it is <laughs> which is in a very thin enclosure so uh, all the tones i recorded right out of this speaker was just through my lapel mic so uh, hopefully that came through okay but yeah like i was like well am i going to use it is it gimmicky whatever <laughs> it turns out uh yeah you can plug it into a regular guitar amp and people will but like for just a practice tool this is the best. You just like literally grab your guitar and a pick, hit the button and you can be playing clean or overdrive or lead. That's awesome. So yeah, way more use out of that inbuilt speaker than I thought I ever would. So as a practice tool, as a practice guitar, something that can handle like being in heat, going out into the cold, getting some moisture on it and you know, being really convenient. Very, very good package for $350. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that. I'm like, man, how can they do that? Uh, but it's a really good package, especially for a beginner or especially for a dedicated practice instrument. So uh, possible downsides on this guitar. Overall, yeah, love this instrument. I think when I'm looking at it, probably I would like um, a regular plate there. I don't know if it's the traditionalist in me because this is not really a traditional guitar <laughs> in any sense. But for me and for peace of mind, I would just like a proper metal plate with all the jacks in there. I don't know how these jacks will hold up, you know, three years from now or whatever. So part of me is just like, well, just give me a plate with two screws. I can unscrew it and resolder something if it comes out or whatever. And this does come off, but you have to pull all the rubber feet off and then unscrew it and stuff like that. So you're probably not going to want to go into there a lot, but yeah, just that's probably the one downside. Um, and also I wouldn't mind a tone control on this. There is no tone control. You've got your split and your volume, and then you can kind of mix in the effect using this volume. So really just two volumes in the selector. I personally would love a model with the tone control just to yeah, give you a little bit more uh, control over the exact tone that you want. So yeah, but as a package, incredible. Don't know how they did it for $350. Really fun to play. Um, the composite does have you know, sort of a plasticky feel to it. Be aware of that as well. It's not gonna feel like a wooden guitar. Uh, it has its own feel, but yeah, durable. Magnetic pickups sound great. Onboard effects, surprisingly useful. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I love to feature guitars like this that are just completely different than anything else out there. And this guitar definitely fits the bill. I will link to it down in the video description below. You can check out uh, the pricing and uh, specs and all that stuff down there. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.